By now, we have all been exposed to drones and drone technology in one way or another. The surge in home and professional use is staggering, and there has been much policy laid out about when and where drones can be used. There's a new threat. Chinese drones. Hello, I'm Trace Bannon reporting from Camp Hill, Pennsylvania. I had a cool opportunity to lead a research program to leverage drones to ease the workload for government inspectors by using the drones to detect environmental changes. Never did it cross my mind that we could be opening up state governments to cyber threats. Drones are increasingly being used by first responders as well, including fire and police. Drone components could be vulnerable for data sniffing or data exfiltration or worse. The drone's controller could be hijacked for nefarious purposes. In a report from Georgetown University, they found that 1,681 state and local entities purchased equipment and services that are prohibited at the federal level, including drones. In episode 23, I reported that U.S. federal policymakers had adopted new rules to prohibit the import and the use of certain communications tech. A growing concern is the lack of resources to address these threats at the state and local level. Private trade associations like the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International uh, have recently announced that they are stepping in to vet drones for U.S. federal security compliance. We'll continue tracking this topic. For latest updates and associated resources, head on over to 505updates.com and subscribe. For now, this is something to noodle on.